Alright guys, today we're going to tell you how to update your router settings to use Google DNS rather than the DNS that's provided by your internet service provider. It's not very complicated, get it done in a couple minutes, so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is open up your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You can use Internet Explorer or Firefox if you want. Um, totally your choice. Once you have your browser open, in the address bar, you're going to type 192.168.0.1 and go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to open up your router settings. Um, once you have this page open, you can make adjustments to your router. If your page doesn't look exactly like mine, it's not a big deal. Every router is a little bit different, uh, but they all should eventually do the same thing. So what you're going to want to do once you have this page open is look for something that either says DNS settings or domain name server settings and uh, you're going to want to make some changes. Here in the Netgear router that I'm using the domain name server addresses is under the basic settings and we can see that currently we're getting our DNS addresses from our ISP and we want to change that uh, so we're going to go ahead and click use these DNS servers and we're going to make some changes. Uh, right now uh, it's got some addresses in the boxes already. You may want to write those down in case you need to use them again in the future. Um, but we're going to go ahead and change those to 8.8.8.8 .8 for the primary DNS and the secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4. .4. Once you've made these changes, go ahead and click Apply, and it's going to start updating your router. Um, updating your DNS to Google DNS can help, especially if you keep on running into things like page not found, or if your internet is very slow looking up web pages, then updating your DNS can help resolve some of those issues, can help give you a more positive experience as you're browsing online. It also has the possibility of opening up some restricted websites. Uh, if your ISP has blocked certain websites, you can sometimes get around that by using a different DNS and you'll be able to access some of those sites. So we've got just a couple more seconds here while the router finishes updating and then everything should be done alright and now you can see that here in the domain name server address instead of using what's given to us from our ISP we're using some custom DNS servers and you can test that go to a website We'll go ahead and click YouTube. And if that works, you should be good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if this video helped, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. Have a good day.